We're going to talk about acetylcholine esterase inhibitors. Right here, we're at the neuromuscular junction where the alpha motor neuron meets the skeletal muscle. So we have nicotinic acetylcholine receptors here, and we have acetylcholine released from the, from the alpha motor neuron. Well, there's a disease called myasthenia gravis where an antibody, antibodies are made against these nicotinic acetylcholine receptors. And those antibodies will prevent some of this acetylcholine from making it to that receptor. And so, you know, symptoms are like weakness. It really shows up in eye, um, eye muscles with ptosis or drooping eyelids, um, stuff like that, you know, facial issues. And, you know, it, it can manifest into just generalized weakness as well. But um, myasthenia gravis, the way they treat this is they prescribe something like neostigmine. That suffix stigmine is typically a acetylcholine esterase inhibitor. What it does is we have acetylcholine here and it's released from the alpha motor neuron and it'll be out there transiently. So it'll be out there and then it'll be swept away and then if another action potential comes down, it'll release more acetylcholine. And that's good, we don't wanna be in a seized up state all the time because we don't have this clearance of acetylcholine. That's a natural process. So what they do here is that, you know, it gets broken down by acetylcholine esterase. ACE means it's an enzyme. It breaks down acetylcholine into acetyl groups, which is a two carbon molecule, and then choline and they'll be taken back into the, uh, the synaptic terminal here, and then it'll be re, you know, recycled and, and released again if there's an action potential. But what this drug does is it leaves it out there in the synaptic cleft longer, and that'll allow more chance of, of there to be interaction. So if it's out there longer, you might be able to get more of those acetylcholines to bind with the nicotinic acetylcholine receptors, and it just helps out symptomatically. So you'd also want to probably treat the root cause of it through immunotherapy, but uh, this is going to help symptomatically. Another common drug prescribed for Alzheimer's disease is called donepazil or Aricept, and it works the same way with when a patient suffering from Alzheimer's disease, um, there's decreased acetylcholine in certain areas of the brain, and if we can give them uh, donepazil or Aricept, it's an acetylcholine esterase inhibitor. It's going to allow the acetylcholine to stay out in the cleft longer. It's going to allow more interaction with the receptors, and then you can decrease symptoms that way typically. Uh, so that's two different diseases that are approached through acetylcholine esterase drugs. Thank you.